Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of Cuboid Outpost. And today we are going to be getting into Create. Yeah, not happy about it, but there you go. Right, so <laughs> in the last episode, we got our um, our our or what what is that? Pieces, all pieces. And I, between episodes, I started sieving and I started getting all the stuff. So I got four, well, I got more than four chunks, but I got all my ore chunks and then I had smelt them down into um, ingots so that we can get the singularities. So I got all of that and got all of these rewards. The only one I have left now is the andesite alloy. And I thought that, well, we'll do that together. So then we can go into create and down here you can see i've got all the the alloys going i don't think these are full is this full no nope. and basically what i did i made more sieves took out the stupid mob farm that kind of knew wasn't gonna work but i thought i'd try it anyway and basically i just kept filling up the basement with stone smashing it and then sieving it so yeah, that took took a little bit of a while, but you know, put on some music and you know, it was good. It was all good. So we have all the singularities going, so we've got our chunks going, and now let's make um Andes Andesite? And yes, I was gonna say Anderson, but no, Andesite alloy. So we need 18. We got nuggets. Oh, you can only make it from zinc or iron? Oh yes, I have nuggets, but I have nickel. But you could only make it from zinc or iron. And of course, I don't have any zinc smelted up. Yeah, that's smart. So hold on a second. Let's have a look at this. See, I thought I was being I was being productive. So we want 18. Okay. Right, thought I was being productive, and you know, I thought I'd make the nuggets ahead of time. Blah blah blah. Yeah. So let's put these into smelt then as you can see i made more furnaces because i really could not hang around because each singularity took two and a half two and a half stacks of ingots so i couldn't wait around on like two furnaces how many did we have before i think we had three maybe so i couldn't wait for that so i just decided you know make more stuff get it done quicker same with the sieves Make more stuff, get it done quicker. We've also put some gravel to um to 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 sieve. So I got those rewards, well not rewards, but I've put, that's completed as well. Yeah, that's the right one. So yeah, so we just need the zinc. Oh yeah, more than enough. We only need 18. Actually, we probably will need all 32 because you know it's create and they do stuff all right so that's finished so we can that unlocks getting creative right yeah getting creative let's zoom in and check mark uh the science division uh this is how we make iron basically i have no idea where to start with this all right let's start from the bottom then Gears, a large cogwheel, shaft, aces, small cogwheel. All right, let's do that then. And let's, large cogwheel. All right, small cogwheel. Oh, we need buttons. Um, We need eight buttons. Oh, it's one to one. I'm there thinking, yeah, you know, you get a whole set from a log. No, just one to one. No, 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 not the nuggets. We want that. All right, so we wanted eight of those. We do the large cogwheels, so we need four more buttons. I'm so totally out my elements, not even funny. The buttons that we had. Fine, two large cogwheels. A shaft is two andesite alloys. Okay, we got one of those. Um, case is that. Did we need four? Yes, we did. Um, wrenched. Okay, nickel or gold? Well, nickel could work, although it's... Okay, that's going to that. All right, let's do this one first. All nickel plates and a propeller. To make a propeller, uh, 
and smush it. Smush an ingot. All right. Uh, nickel. One, two, three, four. And smush it. And what was the other thing we wanted with it? A propeller. A propeller is four plates around andesite alloy. Now you can go back in and there's that. There's your propeller, bucket of water and a wrench. Three more plates. And there's the wrench. Got the first line completed. The crank is optional, but all of these are pointing to this. All right, let's sleep because we're going to have to go outside. Oh, let's get a bucket of water as well. There you go, water logging. Oh, we need kelp, don't we? Kelp and kelp seeds grown under water. All right, to get kelp seeds, you need a sieve and sand. All right, do we have any sand that's already made? That sand, that looks like dust. All right, sand is what again? Oh, I should have made a sand sing singularity. I didn't think about that. Quantum transmuting. Silica dust and glass. Did I not make a sand singularity? Silica dust, cellulose. No, I didn't. Oh, how much sand do I actually need for the singularity? Two stacks. Okay. All right. So cellulite dust, that downstairs. We have almost two stacks. I need a bit more than that. All right. Let's go downstairs and get some, get some more. Okay. I was in the middle of stuff, came outside and found this guy. Not quite sure what he's doing. If I stay next to him, he's going to hit me. But yeah, there you go. Anyway, um, <laughs> I um, finished the sand singularity. So let's waterlog this, see how much we can get. See what we get. Are we going to get anything? Or is it all? Oh, it might be all under the... Um, no, it's not. Okay, let's just stand here. It's a flint mesh. It's sand. We should get something. I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to come back. I thought, you know, we'd get something pretty much right away, but I guess not. We should look at the drops on that. Uh, 5% chance. 5% chance. Really? We could be here for a long time. All right, we need to expand our operations. All right, let me set that up. Go and get my, my, um, my stuff from downstairs. And we, we're we going to do that because if it's a 1% chance, that ain't much. So yeah, let me get these set up. Then I will be back when we have something. Okay, right. So I have had to, I got the kelp seeds. As you can see, I had to do, when I did, I did two stacks. Didn't take me very long. Got seeds, put some sand in the bottom of a... Uh, in the bottom of water, put the kelp seeds in it, and it automatically turns into kelp, which is pretty cool. I thought you'd have to like grow it, like you'd grow everything else. So there's that. I have four hopper botany pots with water so that we can um, grow the kelp. Uh, shift click. Although I don't know how long it's going to take. Can you bone meal this? You know what? I have no idea. Let's go get some bone meal and find out. Oh, bone meal does work. Okay. I guess we're going to have to... Because how much kelp do we need? We need one. That's optional. Why did the beach blush the seaweed? Oh, that's such a dad joke. <laughs> All right, another useful snack. All right, so that is that is optional. I didn't realize that. Oh, never mind. Right, so we need to make an encased fan. All right, so we've got the kelp going, just in case I want to go further with create, which I might do. I might do. I might actually get over my aversion to it and do it. Uh, and the site encased fan, that. Okay, so we have that. The encased fan has two main uses. It can be used as a source of rotational force by putting it above a heat source like a magnet block 
or a campfire and powering it with a redstone signal but it can also suck things towards it or blow things away from it depending on the direction of the rotational force it is supplied with there are other ways it can be used to have a look at the tool tips for it and press the key mentioning ponder to get a better idea of other uses okay so uh, it's a pity this doesn't blow up but this is what we have to make no that's not what we want this is what we have to make the um something to set up so that we can get iron all right blown away turn in the corner so we need a gearbox and a vertical gearbox gearbox and a vertical gearbox all right do we need both all right we need to make some more cog wheels we're missing buttons Vertical gearbox. Is that not what? Okay, what are we missing? The turning of the wheel. Oh, water wheel. All right, we need slabs and slabs and a large cog wheel. That's that. So, turn of the wheel, gearbox, turn in the corner. Okay, so if you're looking for a cheap form of continuous rotational force, our science division tells me they have invented something called a water wheel. Once you need, once you've built one, all it needs is some flowing water to power it. You can even have some of them next to each other to provide more rotational stress units to power your contraptions. If you're able to get water flowing in the direction that the water wheel needs to turn on more than one side, the SU, the SU, oh, stress units provided will be increased. It's also important to be careful with your placement. You want the blades to catch the water in order to be pushed enough to provide the most power. Once you've made the water wheel, hover over it in your inventory and ponder. use the ponder option for more information. Okay, that's the water wheel. So you've got bricks all around it and there's glass there. Okay, I guess to stop things from falling out, but then you can actually see what's going on. All right, let's see if we can puzzle this out. Or I might have to go look at a YouTube video or something. All right, let's get some blocks we can build with. We've got oak. That's fine. Because it's not like it's going to catch fire. It's just to put the water on it. All right, where are we going to put this? Over here, I guess. Now oh, that looks like it's three, one, three, four across. Or you probably don't need the corners. She says, building up on them. Okay. It probably doesn't need to be four high either. But, you know. Right. Um, ponder. Hold W to ponder. Ooh, pretty. Well, um, okay. I'm not sure if if we put that there. We don't need. Oh, we can leave that there. It needs those two. We need, oh, where's the ladders? We need something to just get up here. And we need a bucket of water. Oh, how do you know which? All right, that's why you need. Okay. What did you wash away? Nothing, I don't think. Why do I get the feeling that's going in the wrong direction? All right, let's just leave that there then. Um, you need a shaft, I'm guessing. All right, so that's coming out, turning. 
I guess if you want it to go faster, you would put more water wheels on the other side. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what's that there? I don't know what those are. Are those the gearboxes? But I don't necessarily need the gearbox. You got the fan and you got water in front of it. Let's try that. Um, right, let's take off one of these because you want to make it compact. The fan. Oh, the fan's not turning. Need an axe, yes. All right, you probably need another shaft then. And you probably do need a gearbox, I don't know. Uh, there's a gearbox. That's turning. Going that way. I... That's still not turning. So let's see if we can look at the picture and puzzle out. Oh, the picture isn't that... Oh, maybe... Oh, okay. Um, you got cog wheels, and then you got f the fan at the bottom. Okay, um, there's a large cog wheel, and there's some little cog wheels. All right, so maybe we don't need the gearbox. I know some of you are probably looking at this and cringing, but like I said, it's not. This isn't. Um, I try to avoid. Ooh, okay. I try to avoid create like the plague because it just doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, if I put that there, that goes in the opposite direction. So that goes in one direction, that goes in the opposite direction. Okay, I don't know if we want it to go in the opposite direction. Okay, so if we put the shaft there, or look at the picture again. Um, oh, oh, you can zoom. Yeah, you can zoom in, kind of. All right, so that's all right. So that's the. F Fan, it looks like, I think. I don't know. Do we need a shaft there? Don't know. Alright, um, I might have to look at a YouTube video. I have no idea what that is. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to look at a YouTube video because I'm... If I... Oh, I did do this once, but I have no idea what I did to get there. Um, if you think about it logically. Think about it logically, Shane. You need the fan. Hold on, let's, did we ponder the fan? I don't know if we did. Alright, so... You've got cogs. You've got... The fan. So I should be able to... Is it because there's nothing in front of it, so I can't... Dictate where... Where it's going? I don't know. Try that. Um, that's not even turning. What do we use the gear for? The wrench. Shift for summary. Um, use to rotate, dismantle, and configure components. Okay. Oh, is that... That might be... Okay. That might be that the fan is in the wrong direction, maybe? And that's why... Yes. But that's sucking towards me. I want it to push away from me. Okay. How do you get it to push away? It's pulling in towards me. You have... If you want it to push away, I've got to get the shaft on this side. But that would make... It would make sense. Now that's... Now that's still pulling towards me. Um... All right, let's have a... So if I do that, obviously it's still going to, but it's not actually going to work because it's not connected. I need it connected. Or maybe that is correct. All right, let's put you there. You there. All 
That's still pulling towards me. All right, so maybe if I change the rotation. All right, if I change the rotation, that might change the direction that the fan goes. All right. That's going in the same direction. Wasn't it going in the opposite direction before? We had it going in the opposite direction before. How did we get it going in the opposite direction? Um, let's see if I get another cogwheel. Okay. All right, and then let's move you over um, in case fan and the shaft. Okay, let's put you... Right, we need you facing the other way. That's pushing away. Okay, so I was right. So we had to be... Go in the opposite direction. All right, let's get rid of these. Oh no, is it going to take... Oh no, that's fine. Hello, Mr. Zombie. I'm not interested in you right now. Don't want to know what you're selling. All right, now I seem to remember I had a problem. Right, so you need that there. Now I think we do need it three long. Because you need water in front of it. Right, let's make it three long. Oh, you don't? All right, there's the fan, there's water, there's a slab, and then there's a space. Fan, water, slab. Uh, we need to make a slab. Do I have my... Yes, I do. Crafting table on a stick. Okay, the slab's on the bottom. Don't know if we need slabs on the bottom. But then there's a block on the end. All right, let's move you forward by one. And I should get some gravel. All right, so there's that. Bucket of water. Oh, we have a bucket of water. That's excellent. Right. And gravel. All right, I seem to remember when it's working, it does that. Nothing came out. We didn't get any... Oh. Of course, we can't get out of it now. <laughs> Why can't we get out of it? That's bizarre. I should be able to jump out of it. All right, let's leave a space of two just in case. As I seem to remember... All right, let's throw in a whole stack this... Oh, wrong things. All right, maybe that's why... Let's put a slab under here. At least we can get out easy. Um, okay, is that going to help? All right, so when it's got the white particles, that means it's working. I think it just takes a while for it to do whatever it's doing. Ah, look, it changed, it changed, it changed. Yes, we got flint. Do we put in gravel? Am I doing the wrong thing? <laughs> um, I might be doing the wrong thing. Okay. Um, all right, we've done that. Made the rotational force to bulk wash gravel. Doing so with a small chance of leaving behind flint and iron nugget or nothing. Okay, into a chest and then use an andesite funnel on the other side of the chest to pull out. Yeah, I'm, that's not what I want to do. Okay. Um, uncreative. Oh, okay, there was two options. All right, if you're not feeling creative, there's a basic shortcut for you. The image below, make a ban manual setup. So I'd half fan some slots, place down your water wheel, add a shaft onto the axle on each side, build around the water wheel so that the water can flow around it in a C shape, place in case shaft, okay, all right, well that's what I did, and then we need iron nuggets, oh, we did get nuggets, did we? Oh! I didn't even notice that. Okay. So I need more gravel, more gravel. Okay. So I did remember it correctly and we got it, which is good. And of course it's just waiting for it to do what it's supposed to do. Don't me anemic. Okay. 14 iron nuggets. Awesome. And we wanted eight. Iron brew, so you want eight iron dust and eight ingots. Put in an iron nugget and a wikidium chunk in a quantum transmutation chamber 
and that gives you all right let's go see what happens when we do that uh, uh let's get eight because we've got eight nuggets eight of you oh grief eight of you let's sleep because you know we depend on the sunlight although there probably wasn't much of the night left all right what do we get we get iron grit okay all right so let's leave that working do we just need one of each or we need eight iron grit and eight iron ingots give a little time and some energy this transformation which can be smelted okay all right i think what i might do how many iron do you need for an iron singularity that's the next question iron sing singularity let's see we need 160 so that is two and a half stacks all right so we could do that off camera basically right 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 we're getting someplace we're making iron because once we get a nine singularity that's that sorted actually the most the, the the most of my time is taken up making the singularities but once you get the singularity you get the resource so that's good right let's go get a couple of how can we automate this i mean can i just put a one of the slow ones not half bad -ium, not not so good -ium. yeah is this finished yet um empty hand yes it's finished finally okay um ah didn't mean to do that did i get it yes i did because probably what we can do until we get the singularity but then we need something to pick it up as well yeah we need something to pick it up as well i haven't worked that one out yet all right let's just get let's get a cut um oh i'm full aren't i very full let's just finish off the episode all right so iron brew we need eight iron ingots and we've done it <laughs> That is awesome. So, unlocks, get in a merse, get a mechanized, digging up the dirt and power to the person. All right, so we did create. I didn't have to look at a YouTube video, which is awesome. And um, immersive engineering and Tinker's Construct. I go. I guess, well, that's the next thing we're going to do, Tinker's. Because, yeah, we're going to have to go into Tinker's next. But yes, we've done it. In between episodes, I'm going to make an iron singularity. And then I can upgrade all my storage drawers so that they can hold a lot more. Uh, oh, wow. I mean, now we've got iron. That's a lot. But no, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself. We did create. I didn't have to look at a video, which I thought I might have to. And we got a basic setup working. Can I jump? No, I can't jump. Oh, I can jump on this. Oh. Oh, that is awesome. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.